much already! I want to see some baby shrimp! Has this ever happened to you? I'm Ricky Mays, and I'm here to tell you about the wonders of the shrimp hatching date calculator. No more guesses, no more waiting, no more messy calculating. With just a quick temperature reading and the date you saw your shrimp move eggs under a swimmerette, you too can know the exact date those eggs are going to hatch. The exact this date. information can also be used to help troubleshoot your tank, which we'll get into later. Where do I find this information? Well, what a great question! Just go to the tools section of shrimplyexplained.com so you can know exactly when you'll get to see some baby shrimp! Let's go! Now, regular Rick's coming up to explain more about how best to use this calculator and what its limitations are. After that, we'll also go into ways that you can contribute to scientific research and help bring our hobby into the future. Let's get started. If you watched our last video on the shrimp life cycle, then you may have seen us reference this paper, which tested the effect of different temperatures on neocaratina like cherry shrimp. One of those effects is how quickly eggs hatch after fertilization. The study tested the egg hatching rate at three pretty spread out temperatures, so we have a good idea of how quickly eggs will hatch at 75 degrees or above. A lot of shrimp weavers have their tanks at lower temperatures though, so that's where a little bit of math comes in. I've got a pen, paper here, let's do some math. Actually, what am I saying? What? Who does math anymore? Let's go to Excel. By plugging these data points into an Excel document, I can graph them and calculate a line of best fit. This gives us an equation to extrapolate when eggs will hatch based on any temperature of a given tank. This is super useful information because when I was just starting out, I would have loved to know when the shrimp eggs were going to hatch so that I could be on the lookout for baby shrimp. Another benefit of this information is that you'll also be more tuned in to whether your shrimp's eggs disappear early. And so you might be able to find some dropped eggs and potentially save them in an egg tumbler. It's also just really cool to learn about the effects of temperature on the shrimp life cycle because it's, it's pretty significant. But as it is now, this data is not very accessible for you guys. That's where ChatGPT comes in. With a little bit of help, I got some code to put onto Shrimply Explained and voila, there we have our calculator. There's some stuff you need to know before you start using it though. For one, this tool uses data from a study on Neocaridina, and it may not be accurate for Caridina as it seems like they have slightly longer hatching times. We'll get into how to fix that in just a minute. Two, the tool isn't perfect even for Neocaridina. It's based on a linear trend between data points spanning from 75 to 90 degrees. A lot of shrimp keepers, again, keep their tanks at lower temperatures than that, so the estimated hatching dates are being extrapolated, which makes errors more likely the further away from the data range you are. So for example, the hatching date spat out by the calculator for a 60 degree Fahrenheit tank is less likely to be accurate than, say, for a 70 degree tank. The other problem is that this study only provides us with three data points. It's not a lot of data to go off of, so the linear relationship that we have here might not actually hold true with more data. That's where you can come in and help push the shrimp keeping hobby forward with this little citizen science project we're starting. Just observe your tank as normal, then go to the Google survey on the calculator page and submit the following. One, the temperature range of your tank. Two, the fertilization date, or the day you first saw eggs appear in the swimmerettes. Three, hatching date or the day you saw all the eggs disappear from the swim rats. Four, the species of shrimp, either caridina or neocaridina for now. Five is optional, but the breed of shrimp. It'd be really interesting just to see if the hatching rate is different between breeds as well. With enough data collected from hobbyists, we can actually make a meaningful scientific advancement to better understand our colorful friends. Once we have more data, I'll be able to go on and update it so that it's more reliable for both neocaridina and caridina over a wider range of temperatures. You also might be interested to know that temperature plays a part in every aspect of the shrimp life cycle. If you'd like to learn more about that life cycle, then take a look at this video. It's got a lot of interesting information that you won't find anywhere else, and it's going to help you become a better shrimp keeper. That's it for this short video. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button if you'd like to be kept up to date on all the latest shrimp keeping information. Have a great rest of your day.